In today's video, we misuse a screwdriver again. Barbara removes the door and I use a stick. So we do whatever the same people would do. We poke it with a stick. Hello, it is so good to see you again. I know many of you are worried because of all the water in our bilge. So without further ado, I will tell you where the water is coming from. It was our water tank. So every time we filled up the water tank, we filled up our bilge as well. And now our bilge is finally dry. Nevertheless, we will rip out our second guest cabin because first of all, it has to go anyway. And second, we want to make absolutely sure that there is no leak in the area of the water tank. Hi, we are Daniel and Barbara. The last years we spent sail racing against the best sailors in the world. But we always had the dream to live on a traditional ship and sail the ocean. We bought a huge 82 feet ship in need of a serious refit. We want to restore her and convert her back into the beautiful sailing ship she once was. As our regular viewers probably know, we're currently searching for a leak. So far, we ripped out one of our two guest cabins and the flooring in the saloon and the fossil. Last time, we spotted a puddle of water underneath our water tank. That was a strong hint that our water tank is leaking and the cause for all the water that accumulates in our bilge. However, we want to make absolutely sure that there is no leak in the hull. Therefore, we want to rip out our second guest cabin just to be absolutely sure that the hull is not leaking and the water is really coming from the water tank. And now let's continue with the destruction. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground Far from a worries and troubling sound When I go there to be by myself only me No one can guess what I came there to see There's a sun in the sky At the deconstruction of the interior we basically used three tools, a power drill, a crowbar and a combination of a crowbar and a hammer. The first try always was to screw the screws out with a power drill, but each owner had his own sets of screws, so there were quite a lot of different screw heads and we had to change the bit quite often. Some of the screws were so corroded that it was impossible to get them out and some of the screw heads were painted over so often that it was impossible to spot them. So the next step was always to use the crowbar to lever the boards out. And if that wasn't enough, then we used the combination of a crowbar and a hammer to apply even more force. However, the second cabin was much more rigidly built than the first cabin, so we had to come up with a force tool. Thank you. 
if I would watch this video, I would ask myself the question, why haven't these idiots noticed that the water tank was leaking? Well, our water system looks like that. We have two water tanks. Each of them has a capacity of about 1000 liter. And tank two is feeding into the leaking tank. And the leaking tank is feeding to the pump. So all the water has to go through the leaking water tank. We bought the ship with the leaking water tank. So every numbers how long the, the water will last are with the leak in it. And with the capacity of about 2000 liters, even if you miss 500 of it, it makes a difference of uh, the water lasting six weeks instead of eight weeks. So it's not that much of a difference. However, after we found the leak, um, we feel, feel a little bit stupid, to be honest. Now that we have removed our cabin, it is time to take a closer look at the water tank. But before we continue, if you enjoyed this video so far, then please remember to leave a like. And now let's get started. So we removed the banks and the complete lower interior of this cabin to see if the water is coming from the water tank or from the hull. The hull is bone dry, so now we have to find out if the water tank is leaking at the bottom and therefore we have to open it. We opened up the water tank and there was no obvious leak, but there were some bubbles uh, in the coating and we assume it's rust. So we do whatever the same people would do, we poke it with a stick. We were wondering what these bubbles are. So if you have some experience with old rusty water tanks, let us know in the comments what it is and how it develops. And after we've seen and poked the bubbles, we are quite happy that we never drank that water. Yeah. Yesterday we found no obvious leak in the tank. However, we still think it is quite likely that it is the tank. So today we emptied it completely and if the leaking stops then, it is even more likely that it is the tank.
After we emptied the water tank, the puddle underneath it dried up. We are so glad that it was the water tank and not a hole in the hull. Now we only need to get running water again. And for the first time since we bought the ship, the bilge is finally dry. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.